peace capricornicus this is your 2024 cancer season message this message is also likely to resonate with virgo risings this can also be a message giving a general depiction of what the collective is experiencing around pleasure and play be aware this cancer season for capricornicus the fifth house area of life is highlighted for an increase in activity and or overall attention. FYI, Libra got Virgo risings too. But anyway, moving right along. This area of life experience deals with entertainment and drama, gambles and affairs, romance, children, creativity, and self-expression. Considering the cards on the table, we have the fifth house and the sixth house in the karma deck, the dog and the whip in the, the, uh, the Lenormand deck. The first thing I got was the need to lighten up a little, right? Allowing a break in one's routine from work and having some fun with a friend or an intimate companion of some sort. There's an intense change occurring for someone right now. What I do know is that there's a sharp cut off energy somewhere somebody is displaying. Whoever it is, they've had enough because they were lied to or they are upset at themselves for not listening to their intuition and staying, um, they just stayed with something way longer than they know that they should have or something like that, right? Right now though, this person is completely revitalized there's a fire within this person right to totally reinvent themselves a major boost in their confidence and purpose if this person does have children those children are a source of inspiration and motivation there's an active source of sadness here too like an ache in their heart and whatever it is though it's not stopping this person and maybe it's also some sort of motivating factor um for this person to move forward and take charge in their life pretty much this person could also you know believe or they just are experiencing that many people are actively participating in some type of drama or discord in relation to them like maybe like some type of gang ganging up of some sort or something like that but when it comes to the sadness in the situation it does have to do with losing some type of long-term soulmate or even a family member and if it's not that this person is just overall feeling like a longing to have someone there you know for overall support but somehow in this situation there was an unhealthy attachment to whatever that soulmate was, right? I'm getting a vibe that someone, um, they relied too heavily on that person or whatever it is. There was, again, you know, even in situations where it's like a parent-child and that dynamic was good or something like that, still there's, a, you know, because they were so dependent on that parent of course you know i'm talking about an older person that they just didn't live their life to some degree like like a vibe something like that but either way during this time this person is going to be amazed by how much they change by how much they grow who they'll become the reinvention that they're going to you know undertake at this time they're going to be so shocked of the strength that they have from within and that they pretty much develop on their own at this time. It's necessary, right? So either way, after this transformation happens, they'll then be able to participate in a mutually beneficial partnership where they will create things that are sustain sustainable on a long, long a more long-term basis, right? That's what I have at this time. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time, Capricorn. Peace.